Hi everyone, it's Danny. So today I just want to show you what has happened with my dendrobium, one of my dendrobium phalaenopsis orchids. Um, in a previous video I showed you that I got some leaf burns, I thought there were leaf burns on the back of the leaves, which is kind of weird. Um, because this type of dendrobium produces that sap, that very sticky glue it produces on uh, the back of the leaves, on the underside, I thought there were some sunburns, but in the end, I think it could have been sunburn, but also some bacterial infection because those droplets were just very stuck to the leaf and they do correspond with where the droplets were on the stem as well. I have a few um, here and there. Also, um, the former cane has nothing. This is because as it grows, as it matures, it doesn't, doesn't really produce those saps anymore. The new growth, I noticed, is just more prone to those a little sparkles. It's not infested with anything, I triple checked, um, it's okay, but I think it got some bacterial problems and unfortunately I really couldn't cut the leaves in any way because these dots are just everywhere. I did try to treat this with hydrogen peroxide, um, but yeah, that thing really doesn't work that well with bacterial infections. Uh, it works with fungal infections, but this is something else. Now in another video I showed you how to actually limit bacterial infections if you have it on a, on a side of the of the leaf and uh, you just cut it anyway I show you in that video how to properly take care of it and you can find the link in um, the description below but when you have a lot of spots like this it's really impossible to actually cut the leaf so what do you do um, unfortunately I really didn't find the answer to that I uh, I couldn't treat this orchid no matter what it's not dead it's just gonna lose um, the whole leaf system on this cane, luckily I have a baby sprouting here. The orchid is not properly sick, it's just really affected. Now this can kill an orchid if it doesn't have any other leaves, but as you can see I have the old pseudobulb or cane, which is still good. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. It's a good idea, I think, to remove those droplets. Or, um, I don't know, not keep it in the sun while it has those droplets, but I think it's just a good idea to remove them. They're very sticky, so try to remove them with a Q-tip. I think that's the best solution. Because um, if there is very humid environment, like I had this autumn actually, and I think that favored it. If you have very humid environment, you can totally get some um, bacterial infections. And I'm really sorry about this guy. I'm not sure if it will produce any flower spikes from this cane in the future. I don't know what to say. I'm really happy it has a new growth right here. I repotted it. The roots looked okay. It was okay. It has a, a good root system. It's just the fact that these leaves unfortunately will never um, be recovered. And that's the thing with bacterial infections. I'm not really sure how to treat them once they get hold, so it's better to prevent them. And in the case of the dendrobium, Maybe it's a good idea to remove those sticky spots from under the leaves. You'll never have sticky spots on top of the leaves on the surface. As you can see, these hold, holes come from um, the underside. You can see it's a, it's a small dent in the leaf. So I think that was the cause. And I think those um, glowy spots actually um, kept moisture on the leaf too much. And eventually the orchid got some bacterial disease. Anyway, so it's something to keep in mind in the future. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't know how to help you otherwise with your bacterial infections, except the video that I made with um, a small bacterial infection. But in this case, yeah, try to prevent it. Get the sap out of the leaf. Okay, thank you for watching. If you want to see other videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to leave me questions or suggestions, do so in a comment section and I'll get back to you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.